It'll be a beautiful world without light. Eternal darkness. Ha ha. As long as darkness prevails, we shall be immortal. What's up, fiends? My name is Alucard, and today we get illuminated and check out the 1987 film The Adventure of Denchu Kozo from director Shinya Tsukamoto. Now, if Tsukamoto sounds familiar to you, he's the brains behind the cyberpunk horror classic Tetsuo the Iron Man. This film was the 47 minute short that he made just previous to Tetsuo, and it is available on this glorious box set from Arrow Video called Solid Metal Nightmares, the films of Shinya Tsukamoto. I'll have links in the description. Now, on to the movie. The adventure begins in the great analog world where a high schooler, Hikari, has an electric pole growing from his back. He is, of course, bullied and teased for this. One day, while being attacked by some schoolmates, he is saved by a katana-wielding schoolgirl named Momo. As a thank you, he shares with her a time machine that he's built. He accidentally activates it and transports 25 years into the future where metal vampires rule, and they are hunting down a woman named Dr. Sariba. Hakari rescues Sariba by emitting light from his electric pole, which runs the vampires off. We learn that Sariba has been waiting for Hakari and the power of his electric pole. <laughs> Ten years prior, the Shinsengumi vampires arrived when their power source exploded and turned the sky black. They enslaved humans and are trying to build a more powerful version of their power source. Is Hikari with his electric pole destined to be the one to stop them and save humanity? You'll have to watch and find out. So let's first talk about the cast. We have Nariaki Senba as Hikari, or the Electric Pylon Boy, as they call him in the movie. Uh, Nobu Kanaoka, Kei Fujiwara, Shinya Tsukamoto himself, and Tomororo Taguchi round out the principal cast members. Taguchi plays Tetsuo, by the way. Uh, so many of them actually went on to work on Tetsuo soon after. Honestly, I thought the acting was pretty great. It's very much over the top, but the story really calls for it. This movie was shot on 8mm and took about 7 months to make. Uh, the effects are primitive, but to me, they still look better than CG. <laughs> uh, Tsukamoto claims to have been influenced to create Dan Chukozo uh, by the cyberpunk movement, the story The Ugly Duckling, and Helen Keller, of all people. This movie won the 1988 PIA Film Festival Grand Prize. So for a rating, I'm going to give The Adventure of Denchu Kozo 3.75 bats out of 5. I was highly entertained and cared about all the characters while all this wild stuff was occurring. Uh, this was definitely a prototype of what was to come from Tsukamoto. I would recommend this film to fans of cyberpunk, surrealist fantasies, time travel, and vampire fans. Until next time, adios y bella Lugosi.